Hi, welcome to the shop. I'm Jason and today I'm going to take you through the process of joining a back and also thinning the sides to the appropriate thickness for side bending. We're going to start today with Brazilian rosewood back in sides that were supplied to me by Hearts on Acoustic in Bernie, Texas. It's one of my authorized dealers. Um, this is a commissioned guitar for them so what we're going to do right now is prepare the joints here for gluing and of course as I said sand down the sides and get them ready for bending. All right, the first step in the process is going to be to run these two pieces through the joiner which really helps to put a fine straight edge on it but after that we're going to take it to the table saw where I have some sandpaper attached to it and do some fine tuning to get the seam just perfect. All right, now that we've got a pretty good straight edge on the uh, sets here, I like to run them uh, through several passes on this sandpaper that I've adhered to the top of my uh, table saw. I put this block up next to it, and the fence on the back side acts as a guide. The block in the front just really keeps it up tight against there and keeps it at a 90 degree angle as we make passes with the piece of wood. Slow and steady passes, not much pressure. Now we'll wipe off the edges and go check our progress um, using a method called candling. Basically I'm going to put it up to the window and let the sunlight shine through it and if I can see light shining through then the joint is not ready and we need to keep sanding until we can see no light shining through the joint. Okay. I can see a little bit of sunlight right in this, this area between here. It's a very small amount but we still have to knock off some material down here I believe so let's take it back to the table saw. I need to remove a little material off of just one end. Um, say this end, for instance, I need to remove some material there to bring that gap closed. Then I'll actually put it on the front end and put a little pressure up there. And just a few slight passes should do the trick. See if that worked. One last time. Put the sides together, pull, pull them together tightly. And you notice, look up and down the joint here, back and forth, side to side. And I don't see any sunlight, so we're ready to go. Okay, now we're ready to glue the back together. And you can see I have a platform here that I do this on so that my clamps can fit underneath and I put a little wax paper down so the board itself doesn't get glued to the board underneath. So I'm going to put some glue on this joint here. This is Luthier's Mercantile um, guitar making glue and it's made just for um, guitar applications. Get a little glue stuck in here. Just going to put a little bead along the edge here. I can get that in the camera for you. And then we're going to lay it down. And just fit this together. Squeeze it together and sort of rub it up and down, move it forward and backwards just a little bit to spread that glue. And then we're going to start tightening the clamps down here on the bottom. Then in the middle, we're going to make sure that our seam doesn't rise or fall from side to side. And then we're going to tighten this, tighten 
top part here. And I like to just run my fingers up and down this to make sure that both sides are staying flat as those clamps have tightened. Readjust a little bit more pressure and there you go. Okay, now about uh, an hour or so has passed and the back is, is now thoroughly glued together. We can take it take the clamps off. Before we do that, though, I want to just chisel off any excess glue that's squeezed out. Clamps are off. back has been successfully joined. There you go. Alright, now we're going to start thinning the sides on my drum sander here. And so I'm going to have to turn on my dust collection system. You probably won't hear me, so I'm just going to start this process, feed it through time and time again until I get it down to 85 thousandths of an inch. And I will check the thickness as I go. So here we go. Okay, now that the sides are thinned down to the proper thickness, we're going to um, do the profiling of the sides so that it will already be pre-shaped to uh, be ready for gluing of the back because it has a radius on the back. So Before I actually cut the sides to profile, I'm going to uh, run one edge through the joiner to straighten it. So that's going to be the edge that glues to the top of the guitar, so we'll do that first. Okay, now we're going to square off the end, the bottom of the guitar where the tail block is and it glues together. We want to make sure this, this is square. We'll do this on the table saw. Okay, now we're going to trace. Um, our template profile onto the sides and then cut it on the bandsaw. All right. 